As of July 7th of 2024, there are currently 47 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet, a total which is two less than were erupting last week. One of these erupting volcanoes is the Democratic Republic of the Congo's Niragongo volcano which contains the world's largest lava lake. While its size has varied during the last 360 years, it has been measured anywhere from 60 to a whopping 1,000 meters wide. This lava lake, which is incredibly low in silica content, typically builds over multiple years until being catastrophically released down slope where its molten rock can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in dangerous flink eruptions. And now, here are this week's top volcano-related news stories. In Alaska, the alert level was raised at one of the nation's most symmetrical volcanoes due to the likely presence of shallow magma, with this occurring at the Cleveland Volcano. Meanwhile, 883 miles to the northeast at Alaska's Mount Spur Volcano, a notable geothermal change occurred, which created a large crater-filled lake despite the fact that the surrounding air temperatures are continuously below freezing. And in what is this week's top story, Italy's Mount Etna volcano produced stunning 2,000 foot or 610 meter high sustained lava fountains as part of what is known as a paroxysm. Paroxysms represent short yet violent bursts of activity that mark Etna's most energy intense eruptive periods and can take a number of forms. Although Etna can produce as few as zero or as many as 50 paroxysms in a year, this volcano had not produced any such events since December 1st of last year. Then, once a new eruption began on June 17th, eruptive activity slowly intensified, eventually building a tall new cinder cone in its Voragine crater and creating scenic lava falls. As violent Strombolian activity started, additional escalation followed, resulting in a paroxysm beginning around 11.08 local time on July 4th. As large amounts of basaltic tracheandesite lava erupted over the next 16 hours, ash fell to the southeast before ending around 3 a.m. the following day, returning to weaker eruptive activity. Since so much scoria and lava was ejected, the new cone in Voragine Crater unofficially became Etna's tallest point, reaching a height of 3,360 meters or 11,024 feet. Since July of 2021, Etna's southeast crater had been its highest point, but this is now no longer the case since that is today 3 meters or 10 feet shorter. Meanwhile, in Alaska, the alert level of the highly symmetrical Cleveland volcano was raised from green to yellow on July 5th. Yet, there have been no elevated rates of earthquakes, no ground deformation, and no unusual thermal signatures. So, why was Cleveland's alert level raised? The answer is that sulfur dioxide emissions, indicating the presence of very shallow magma, perhaps even at less than a mile depth, have notably increased in the last several weeks. Mount Cleveland is included in a class of volcanoes which frequently provide little or no warning before some of its eruptions occur, so a lack of these other scientific readings does not necessarily imply a lack of activity. This now marks the third time that Cleveland has been placed at a raised alert level since its last eruption in 2020, but it appears to be its most intense period of unrest out of the three. Cleveland is the fifth most active volcano in Alaska and the ninth most active volcano in the United States, so it may soon end up erupting in an explosive manner. Meanwhile, 62 miles northwest of the city of Kenai in Alaska, the magmatic intrusion underneath Mount Spur is still ongoing, although both earthquakes and the rate of ground deformation have decreased in the last two weeks. Despite this, sometime during late May and continuing to the present, a crater lake approximately 242 feet long and 289 feet wide formed. While the adjacent hot fumaroles or even heated geothermal fluids could be keeping this lake in a liquid state, it actually could be below freezing. How? Well, numerous particle inclusions being injected into the lake could lower the freezing point of water, in extreme cases, to as much as around negative 40 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. This activity simply represents a slower effect of the higher rate of volcanic unrest a few months ago, which just took this long to reach the surface and produce an effect. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. 
Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on July 6th of 2024. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Tom Hayford for supporting this channel.